Nigeria. What's up, my people in the street? Still on the street vibe today. I'll be discussing on an issue of the last election in Kogi State and Bayesa State. And on the street today, I'm having a politics analyst. I'm talking of Deji. Oh, yeah, Bamiji. Today will be out. Today will be air. Eh? Oh, my. Let's go and have a discussion. My name is Sir Mendesim VJ Saros. I love you guys. Let's go. Boy VJ Saros. All right, we are that day. The boy VJ Saros. Still on the street vibe. Today episode, I'll be discussing on an issue. The politics, the election that was held in the state of Kogi, Nigeria. We had all, all the palava, all the issues, all the, the body houses and all the, all, all the issues. We, we have an inconclusive then that we have to talk on now. And today on the, on the show, I have with me a vibrant man here with me. I'm talking of, uh, a, 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 I, I can't say a politician, but, but on the, uh, uh, on the show today, I call him a politician. So, I have with me, Deji, uh, or Ivan Miji. You're welcome, sir. Good evening. Well, nice to have you on the show, sir. It's a pleasure. Wow. <laughs> what do you have to say on to, uh, concerning the issue of um, Kogi State politics, that was, uh, the election that was held last? Oh, well, um, about the election that was held in Kogi State last week, I think Nigeria still has a long way to go. Because what happened, the display of all these things that happened in Kogi showed that we still have a long way to go and we need serious electoral reform in Nigeria. Serious one. In fact, serious one, critical one. All right, all right, all right. Now, they said there is, there is an inconclusive. So we can say an election is inconclusive. We, we should have known that there are some, some, some issues that have gone Ran in the, in during the election period, what do you see to it? Though we have such in Osho State the other time, no, having it in Kogi State now, what do you see to it? Well, most of the time, when they say election is inconclusive, it is due to some things that happen probably during the election, probably like a uh, snatch of ballot boxes, like. Um, uh, some polling units, maybe the cards leader didn't work, and you know, or probably there was something like uh, you know, when they brought in the election oh, materials, oh, they oh, mixed it together. There was a mix of uh, yes, and when the numbers don't correlate with what they have, like when registered voters in two thousand, we have five thousand people vote. So there is, there is no way that they can declare somebody winner. In that right. in those particular All right, years. I checked through the, the election now. They announced the governor. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Still remain the governor. Now, mm. talking about the Senate, I'm talking of Dino Milai. What do you say to his, uh, his, his election? Well, generally, election in Kogi, it is a slap on the country. Mm. Well, like why, I would say. That? Now, imagine what happened. That's why deploying. 35,000 plus mm. policemen mm. and we still had issues of you know ballot snatching and you know violence by killing one another same people as in people of same state all right you know we it doesn't story. make sense all right concerning the, for the policemen that mm. we have some uh, the, some some fake policemen now someone raised an issue that why couldn't the policemen announce that there, there, will, there will be an identification of the real one and the fake one. What do you see to it in the election of Nigeria, especially the Kogi state? In fact, for police force to have come out that there are a lot of fake policemen that, you know, intruded in the election, it's even enough to cancel all the elections. Uh, okay. I'm telling you the truth. Because how could you say, okay, who brought in the policemen? Which political party? Who did this policeman? Who did they work for? You shouldn't have declared somebody a winner. When we have issues like this on ground. Now, what, how many of those fake policemen have they arrested? None have been, not, not, none have been arrested. So, what, 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 what are we saying? 
IG was saying uh, fake policemen, you know, took over the whole, the whole uh, election process. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be like that. Okay. I'm telling. You. Uh, 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 okay, I still have a, a, an odd issue that people are talking about right now. I'm talking of the bunny woman that people have been talking about now. What do you see to it? I think the woman, is, the, the woman is a, is a PDP member. What do you see? To it? Is is that not a, a negative, a ne negative part for APC? Or we say PDP is using that against APC because APC is winning the, the election already. Well. Let me say, for us or for Nigeria to have an issue like that, sincerely speaking, there should be proper investigation. And those who are involved in such atrocity should be nailed down. Number one thing we should know is this. Politics in Kogi basically is between APC and PDP. Are you getting it? Now, if the political leader, woman leader now, yeah, yeah, woman leader. was assassinated. Definitely, it might not be from PDP. Mm. Because you might... <laughs> no, this thing is case sensitive. It's, it is really sensitive. But I don't think PDP could go ahead and set their women leader out and, you know, burn her into ashes just to have uh, something negative against APC. Okay. Are you getting it? Although... Most of the time, when things like this happen, some things just happen uh, basically not because of probably election. Maybe the women leader has done something for some set of people before. But they could not, they, they, those people that wanted to event, I'm just saying, cite an example. For instance, this, that time was the best time for them to strike. So that there will be like an indictment on the other political okay. party. Okay, 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 okay. That's that for, for that, sir. Now, we had an issue of um, Fire State. Now, okay. they've been talking about Fudor Jonathan that is not supporting the, the PDP candidates. What do you see to it? Now, I can see that PDP have been talking that there will be punishment for Fudor uh, mm -hmm. Jonathan. What do you see to that issue before we go close for the episode? No, Fudor Jonathan. Like you said, he said his ambition is not what any blood of Nigeria. That's that side. Then, personally, like myself, during a presidential election, I didn't vote for APC, I didn't vote for PDP. Okay. I voted for ANN, Alliance for New Nigeria. And that's, that's Feladro Tui. You know, but he didn't win. The major thing here is in support of good governance. AP, APDP has been in power in Bayelsa yes. since 1999. Yes. Have they had la uh, landslide uh, victory? Like, uh, while driving. Okay. Have, have they done something that is worthy like for them to continue to rule in that state? Are you getting it? When we want good governance in Nigeria, most of the time we won't be Pasha about a Wait, party no, or go for the person, not the party. Go, go, like go the for the around. person. Okay. Have they been those governors that have been ruling in Bayasa? Have they been delivering? You know, oil, major wealth of, of the country, comes from you know right. from yes. south uh, south south. Of course, of course. But if you look at the allocation that is being given to south south, it is more than many of these other states. But what are they doing with the money? Okay. Are you getting it? So if uh, a governor has not been performing for a reasonable Nigeria that wants progress. You, there should be a change. Whether it is APC or PDP, there should be a change. That's what happened in your state. Are you getting it? Okay. So, okay. that's what happened. Okay, now, to so what PDP, um, uh, the PDP as a whole has said that there will be a punishment for good luck in other. What is it to that? Is it right thing or, the, is, it, or is it wrong? Is it wrong thing? See, PDP wanting to punish Jonathan, I think it's not necessary. This is the reason, this is my own personal view. Jonathan didn't go out to APC campaigns to go and you know, raise uh, the candidates and up in the public. He didn't go to PDP campaign. 
definitely yeah. too. He's Although neutral, he should have he gone. Neutral, yes, he was neutral. So nobody could say who whose side he was. But we heard that, according to what I see read yesterday <laughs> on paper, that the guy even voted for PDP during the election. So everybody should have freedom to what is right. Are you getting it? If he thinks the state needs a change, that's what happened. When he lost the election, he congratulated Buhari. This oh, guy yeah. is not... Is, I think Jolata is one of the... Is, is one of the best people that God has given to Nigeria. Although the, the people might not really enjoy his administration like they, they, they expected of him. But, you know, but for him to have, you know, left Asoro and congratulate Buhari. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. How many sitting president would just hand over to, to, to another incoming president? So, all right, all right, all right, all right. I, 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 I love that, sir. Now, to ask you a simple question, are you in support of Lord Jonathan on the issue of Bayelsa or you're against On the issue of Bayelsa, I'm not against Lord Jonathan. I'm not, I'm not in Bayelsa. <laughs> See, wait, let's, let's, uh, let, let's, let's be realistic. I'm not in Bayelsa. Are you getting it? Okay. Good Lord Jonathan is in Bayelsa. He knows what is going on. Okay. Are you getting it? So he has the best, you know, opinion and the best decision to make All right. about what is going on in the state. All right. You know, he, 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 he was the former president and he's from that state. Yeah, of course. So many people are still even pointing finger at him that okay, your own state girl is not, you know, it's not, it's not, so. He has a choice to do what he wants to do. Since on the show with Nigeria Yubameji, a politics analyst, discussing on the issue of the last election that was held at home by SAP. I hope you've enjoyed the show so far. And to the Nigerians out there, I mean the audience, what do you have to say to them? Any advice for them? Uh, just My advice to every Nigerian, especially the youth, Nobody should go and die because of any politician. Know who is right for your constituency, for your state, for your local government part time. You see, as a photographer, I, I cover events a lot. I've met many politicians. Those at the top, PDP, APC, they greet, they talk, they, you know, they are always happy around one another. The followers are fighting. You know, a friend blocked me on Facebook. Just because of... Just because of Osho's case. It doesn't make sense. You, you okay, like few, I, I think like, it should be last Saturday. Fire Oshay and uh, Fire Me, they were in Lagos, oh, laughing, wow. enjoying each other's company. And then? Do you know how many people have fought because of them? People died. And now, uh, many people have died. So don't deceive yourself. Just right. vote for the right person. All right. How you getting in part time? That All right. Just Thank it. you very much for having you on the show today. You're welcome, Mr. Sardis. Analyst. Thank you very much for watching so far. My name is Sir Mendes and Pages Sardis. On the street by the Thank you very much for watching. We love you guys.